Hello everybody, it's Lady Jack 20, I'm back to Let's Play of Dark Cloud. I cannot even understand myself when I talk like that and this quickly when I'm trying to introduce an entire new part. Okay. <laughs> uh, as you can see from this and the last part of this, this is all on the same night and I'm getting quite tired. I guess that means I should stop recording, but I think I can get one more part out and going. So might as well. Friday night. And nothing's going on until tomorrow night. So, more of this Sun and Moon Temple because I like this place. It's easier than the shipwreck. Or at least it seems to be... It, uh, or either that or it's being nicer to me. And I do like that. It gives me the items I need when I need them. Not when the game finds it convenient and or when the game has gotten over its fit of laughter at me. I can upgrade this again. What will I do with this? Need more speed. Hmm. I don't know if I have anything left, so might as well upgrade for now. Awesome. Okay. Let's put this. We need some holy undead buster. Yes, that would help. Hmm. Ah, we got those hornets. Wait a minute. No, we got a big guy. I know. Certain enemies coming up that are more stone than anything, and we'll try. Uh. Yeah, might as well. Alright, the sax plus 10 is ready. God, something good. Give me something good. Thank you. Actually, no, that's... Oh, no, that's not a big cabin. That's just a little cabin. Gosh, I hate these mimics. Now they're made of stone. Now they're even harder to hit. And they take even more of my weapon power away. Oh, but these guys should be easy. Seems like whenever it seems like my holy ability actually needs to be doing less. Oh come on! Sucker punch me like that. Nope. Oh, do not tell me you're gonna do this. No. Uh-uh. Let's try the thunder then, like Steve said. You are seriously gonna do this. You are gonna get stuck in a loop. No. And then you blow up. Oh, we got a bomb at least. Something good, something good, something good. Ah, carrot, I'll take it. Sheesh, that ate it. That guy alone with his whole repairing. Forget the holy for now. I haven't even seen a single undead enemy yet. Anything? Oh, well, there's my undead enemy. But you know what? Fire, you know, fire is doing good enough on its own. I need to conform to how they say holy is good against undead. You know, fire works the same way. Okay, there's the exit. But I don't have the key. So we're gonna have to look somewhere else for the key. And my uh, drawn's feather just broke. Jeez, how many how many this does this guy have? Sheesh, you figure he like flew around the entire world because we're finding these everywhere. And apparently some people think of them to have value because they start selling them at stores. And I just got bit on the head by a hornet, but yet not a single scratch is on me. But he hurt me on the inside. And my weapon, which is about to break. And if it broke at this point, I would be quite distraught because that would mean that the most powerful weapon I've been using this whole time would be rendered useless. That's what you have to be careful in this game. The smallest little thing can end up screwing you harder than you could possibly imagine. Ooh, picked them off right on that timing. Oh, I wanted you guys again. See, see, look at this. Hello? We're in a fight, remember? You can't just let your boxing gloves do all their defensing and then you blow up. I, I always wonder, is there like a switch or do you just kind of like set yourself up so that when I hit, the fuse is lit and then I'm screwed later? How do you do that, bomber head? Oh, do I have the key? I better have the key. Hang on. Yeah, I have the key. Good. That would have sucked. I would have to go all the way back. My funds increased a little. Ah, I hope I put up a store here in Muscalaka so I can actually use it. Nope. Thought you were going to get the jump on me, but I got you in the corner now. Seriously, we're in like... 
we're this far in the game, and, and that, that enemy still gave us only like what seven gold or gilda, whatever they call it anymore. Yeesh. Ooh. They would make it the last couple enemies that give me the key today. Hope I didn't jinx myself in the very beginning of this part when I was talking about it being nice to me. It's like, oh, well, if you think we're gonna be nice to you, we'll think again. Yeah? Yeah, see what you think about now. God, I'm just going insane, aren't I? Here, everyone's going like, what is he talking about? Well, he's like, oh, thank you. Now I, now I can stop acting insane for all the nice people who are watching. I got the slate. I can leave. That is, once I get the last asthma. And I got all my weapon power. Boy, things are looking up. I feel unstoppable. Not even to that mimic. I'm not caring about the mimics. I, I just want to go. Sheesh, I haven't even gotten the back floor king. I'm going to show off what that looks like somehow. Uh, two bummer heads. Yeah, I'll take the risk. Uh... I gotta start doing that. Whenever I find like the last two chests, I have to like look up and make sure I have either the mystical crystal or magical crystal, whatever they call it, or the map, because otherwise I'm just gonna be wasting time. I'm gonna be wasting resources trying to get something that I don't need anymore. I know what the exit is. I've already mapped out this entire place in my head. Cause I love that about apparently Tone and all his friends. He can just walk into a room and immediately have the whole place mapped out on in his mind exactly where to go, where to be. Ooh, cutscene! There was a other cutscene. Finally, I can stop blabbering on like an idiot and actually do a little bit of voice acting at least to break the mood. <clears throat> Come on, Ben, what's happened to you? See, I heard that Ben is the strongest warrior in the whole Muska Desert. Maybe he used to be. But not anymore. He failed to protect the village. He's no longer a warrior. He's weak now. You know what? Being strong and on the battlefield and being truly strong as a person, they're not the same, are they now? What do you think of Lucky Jack? One who is with me. What do I think? I don't understand. I sense something very strange to that person, like a will. Power deep within him, his heart. Yes, Lucky Jack is strong. I'm weak. Oh boy. Yeah, yeah, I don't think he's really understanding what you're trying to get across there, Theo. But don't worry, we'll get him on his feet again. Anyway, on to the third floor. Because I'm tired of wasting time. Let's get through this as quickly as possible. Ho oh, ho! That's an enemy. I see one who looks exactly like it right behind him. Fantastic! Whoa! Well, surprisingly, that didn't eat up my weapon power a lot. Nonetheless, we must take care of this in an organized manner. Die! See that? That's exactly what's gonna happen to you. Unless you turn around, give me the slate, and walk away. What the heck? Oh, I probably wasn't locked on, and so when I held it, it goes to the aiming thing, so I literally threw it right at my feet like a dunce. Well, fine. He doesn't seem to be walking away or giving me the slate. You asked for it. All he had was endurance. Oh, can't ever take that for granted. Oh, well, we got the map. Perfect. Now I can see exactly whether or not... Oh, another go... Is that all you guys have in here, are golems? Yeesh. You think we would have... You think something would have happened with all the shockwaves and all the... Cracking of the earth that he seems to be causing. And I'm amazed I am not dying at this point. How careless I'm being. Let's get some bread. Bread always helps me when I get crushed by a, a giant rock that lives. I literally cannot come up with anything else. I feel horrible. Come on. Almost there. Ooh, that was close. He was so close to laying off that attack that I'm gonna stop trying to talk corny and actually try and be entertaining. 
It's already 10 minutes in the video, and I have no- I don't think I've even said one funny thing yet. Steve, help me out here. Yes, but Steve, they've already heard that joke before. We need something new. Ooh, a golem. Read the golem mine. Maybe we'll, uh, hear something new for a change as soon as I kill a bomber head here. Okay. What do you see about golem here? Something. Yeah, I'll get. What are you saying anymore? Hey, I'm working on it. You are going crazy just as much as me. See, huge stony thing? That's funny, right? Yeah, this is not helping. Well, if anything, this is going to, uh... Come on. Okay, Steve, I'm not going to let you break on me, though, because you've helped me uh, kind of take off a pause of my commentary. Not going to rely on you, though. So. Oh, there's the King Slate. Oh, yes, I feel so happy now. Uh, let's guess it. Poison? Sweet! Something good, something good, something good. Sam Breaker. I'll check it out. It's worth a look, see. Mythical crystal. I'm sorry, am I looking at this right? Is there only one Atla in this entire floor? Please tell me there's not just one Atla and I'm just reading that wrong. Oh, they would. And it's just hay. Okay? That's all that was. Not dealing with you guys. Sorry, when I see two enemies running towards me and all I see behind them, according to this map, are more enemies and I see two chests. Not a very hard choice to make. Never really understood why putting something on a weapon would make it lighter. Because that's apparently all that speed plus one does, or whatever the speed power ups do, to make it that way you can swing your sword faster. So essentially, we are putting something on the weapon that makes it lighter and not heavier. Thank God for magic! Otherwise, man, this game would never make sense. I've heard people tell me that Dark Cloud 2 is better, but I don't know it. I'm still looking for it. Ooh, looks like we have an old Jordan floor. Well, we, I haven't used him a lot recently. Let's let the, let's give this a moment for him to shine until I find the sleigh and then I can leave instantly. Why'd I do that? I pushed the wrong button to bring the camera around to me. Okay, give me something to kill. Something to kill. That'll work. Come on, we can hit the chest. Holy crap, that takes off a lot of weapon power up there. At least by my standards. Are they all the mimics here? Is that all I'm gonna find? Oh no, there's a golem back there. Good. Something better I can use. Come on. I'm ready for you. Oh, oh I missed. Shoot, shoot. Okay. I can do this all day. I love it because I also push him a little bit farther back with each swing. So in case he does do his uh, double punch at me, I can quickly push him out of the way with my own axe. An attack that also defends. Ain't that a beautiful thing. Uh, more speed. This doesn't help me at all. Alright, let's see what's back here. Oh, we got something good. Nope, it's just a crystal. That just tells me where all the enemies are because it's useless unless I'm looking for Atla. But we got an ice gem, so I can do ice damage to these giant stones. Come on. Oh. Awesome. I like that. Sometimes you get a random thing where he, the hitbox actually uh, links up one another, so you actually end up doing two attacks, two damage to him with. One attack! God, you're losing it. You can't do commentary anymore. It's too late. You gotta stop. But I wanna keep continuing. No, you're gonna stop after this part. Ah, fine. 
Why do I have to stop? Because you're going insane and you're talking to yourself in a part where you're supposed to be talking to yourself, but in a sense you're talking to tens of people who watch this video. Uh, fine. If anything else, if you guys are feeling as confused about what I'm saying, you're ju I'm just as confused as you are about what I'm trying to say as well. Well, thank God it was a door that Jordan here can open. Could you imagine they put a ruby door here? And only Jordan could be here? How inconvenient that would be. God, I'll get that King Slate soon, then I'll be able to leave this place. Gosh dang it. Stop that! See what you do? You make me almost break my axe. I don't like when you do that. Let's try an ice gem. Something good will happen. Group them together, group them together, group them together. Eh, it did something. Hmm. You know, I'm gonna try this out. The frozen tuna. That's ice. Tuna! Come on. And it freezes you too. So, tuna. Oh, crap. I'm cursed. I was originally just gonna do this as a joke, but now I'm cursed. So now I can't get rid of this giant frozen tuna I'm swinging about like a, at, like a hammer. Well, it looks like the joke's on me. Well, fine. Yup. Get some cheese. Cause I can take you all down with a frozen tuna any day. Yeah, this is getting kind of annoying too. Be it a waste. At least I don't have to use a giant frozen tuna. Die! Be it a waste yet. Yeah. How are you alive? Oh shoot. Get it, get it! Move! Come on. I did this much damage to you. I might as well finish the job. Don't want you finding me years later. You wanna kill a golem? You best be prepared to finish your job. Oh god, I'm making the worst jokes ever. Leave! Get out of here! Quickly! Before all my humor is just disintegrated before my very eyes. Or at least before my sarcasm leaves me. That's all I got left at this point for entertainment. God, isn't that stupid? Where is it? There you are. Sheesh. Almost gave me a heart attack. Made me feel like I wasn't gonna be able to leave. Oh god, that would be a nightmare. Being stuck in an endless loop of a dungeon. Alright, you know, I'm ending here. I'm looking at Jack Twain doing Let's Play of uh, Dark Light. Say anything new? You seem to have it completely written now, don't you? Fine. Yeah, I know. You have a talk with him. I'm going to end the part. Ooh! Gord and Stormbreaker. Okay, that's it. I'm ending the part. Lucky Jack 20 doing Let's Play of Dark Cloud. Next part, more temple. You know. See ya.